The SI operation is a greenfields operation. There's no previous mining activities here. It uh, will produce over 100,000 ounces of gold per year, along with over 700,000 ounces of silver. The biggest challenges here for us uh, working in Laos, especially in this region where we are, is the significant steep terrain. The pre-development in Ban Sai is uh, a bit challenging because up in here we have the photography of mountain. It's too steep, too narrow and don't have flexibility. How to make the road up to the hill, how to make the drill pad for exploration. What I'm after is a total mining solution. That's particularly important for us when we deal in this country because we're somewhere between a conventional open pit through to an underground given the steep terrain. We've got basically 300 metres elevation difference between the top of the pit down to the bottom of the waste dump areas. The standards and requirements that we have here for the levels that we operate are very demanding. When we're bringing on more mining professionals, whether they be local Lao people, whether they be personnel from other countries, we need to make sure that the people are coming in here can use our system. There's a mountain there. We make a hour access road or how road, and then we compute volumes, and we're using a SARPAC software to get a volume against the track counts or design. The core application of GEMCOM to us is primarily through the SERPAC products. Um, we've used it from our preliminary greenfield works, right from topography pickup through to road design, both on our primary access road, which is 20 kilometres of new road through very thick jungle, um, pit and waste dump design, stage design. When we're in country like this, we need to have three or four different solutions in the permutations, and we're able to do that through SERPAC quite easily. The way we operate here, we need to be factoring in life and mine needs. The boundary side is standing on the construction phase right now. So SERPAC is uh, flexible to use for our development task before we start production. SERPAC is our first step and it's our core step. So the data that comes out of that will be fed into other product in terms of um, schedule optimization, our financial system database that we use and then that comes back and it's basically a con continuous circle. SERPAC drives your production, your schedules. We use SERPAC to assist us in the safety side, the risk assessment side. So it's great to do a road design, but it is a safe road design, um, particularly on the 3D imaging side. We then can look at it in plan view, look at it in isometric, and can that truck get around that corner? Is that practical? Is that logical? We work with a SAR park across the, the other department the engineering, the mining engineering, the geology, and then the exploration. I like the SERPAC because it's uh, easy to use and to help my job because uh, I can uh, transfer, transfer the, 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 the data to the engineer, to the survey, and to check the, what's wrong in the pit. So I like SERPAC because you can import and export from other applications. You can connect to other applications fairly easily and with the ODBC link that SERPAC has. Uh, I like the way you create the strings and then the way you create a 3D model. I've personally used SERPAC a long time myself, whether it's from a mining engineer in production through to mine planning, and even as general manager, I still need to see things that are done in SERPAC. With the application of SERPAC to here at Ban and Sai, I know that the company and myself, we can go into this operation with great confidence on what we've designed and implemented in the field works for the company and pays us back the biggest possible returns. That's why we use GEMCOM, it works for us. <laughs>